Dear friends, good afternoon and welcome to this uh, first live surgery of the week. Our patient today is a male of 22 years old. He is in good systemic health and he is referred for the replacement of the missing 21. As you can immediately see, there is a serious tissue deficiency at that site. The bone deficiency is rather wide and is extending significantly to an apical direction well beyond the mucogingival junction. At the same time, there seems to be a problem with the soft tissues as well. Just below the mucogingival junction, the oral mucosa appears very thin and possibly there is scar tissue there. On the good side, there is a good presence of keratinized tissue in the coronal part of the alveolar ridge and also the bone defect appears well contained, somehow well defined by the neighboring ridges. Now, the Combeam CT is confirming these clinical observations and you can see the width of the defect extending towards an apical direction. Some years ago, my first choice would have been a block graft and a two-stage augmentation. Today, however, I think we have the technology and the experience to try to be minimally invasive and maybe save the patient the trouble of a two-stage augmentation. So would it be possible to consider an augmentation with a simultaneous implant placement in this case? And if so, would we benefit from a bone level tapered implant or maybe a reduced diameter implant? Or would it be inevitable to have a two-stage augmentation? And in that case, do we consider a block graft or maybe a titanium reinforced membrane? Furthermore, Will we need a soft tissue graft on top of that in order to achieve the best closure of the soft tissues? I think the main critical factor here would be if we will manage to achieve primary stability in placing an implant and also proper soft tissue cover. If yes, then maybe a simultaneous augmentation would be the best option. If not, then we will have to consider the two-stage augmentation solution. And the rest will be seen on the screen. See you later.